This is probably going to be too dark. Hello, my name is Olivia and the sun is setting. It's still just as hot because London wants to kill me, but I am sorry if it's too dark. Um, hey, hmm, hello. I couldn't be bothered again, so I just draw this bad angelic rune. But, hello, welcome to my channel. Oh, here it is. <laughs> today I'm going to be discussing, I'm sorry if this is this is a week late again, I'm really sorry, but today I'm going to be discussing season, Shadowhunters season 2, episode 12. Yeah, okay, cool. I am going to be doing every single one. I'm going to, if you want to see my season 2, episode 11, I'll put it in the description, I don't know, okay. Um, sorry about the lighting again. Okay, anyway, let's get into it. So, we start this episode with something. <laughs> and then we start it with like a Magnus scene thing, Magnus Valentine scene. Then, after the title credits, we go into a Simon and Clary bed scene. Aha! Um, cute! They were naked in bed. They were naked in bed. I mean, um, it's like it's not a thing that it should be. Whoa, my gosh, they're naked. They're in bed. Anyway, I'm okay, moving on. <laughs> um, again, I think that this Kilman thing is going on a little bit too long. I'm kind. I'm really ready for it to end. I'm. I don't know. It's kind of cute. Simon's happy. She's happy. But you know, I'm ready for it to end. Okay, let's... Oh, my phone's so rude. Okay, next. Um, so, I don't really have anything more to say for that scene. Sebastian meets the gang. Um, we first start with this like scene between Sebastian and Izzy and she's wearing like Sebastian's jumper and she looks super cute. And <laughs> then she's like, come on to the institute. And so he comes and he meets everyone and... There's a scene between him and Clary, and he's like, Your representation precedes you, Valentine's daughter, I assume? And she's like, Yeah, don't hold me to it. And he's like, uh, Well, we don't choose our parents. And I'm like, oh. I really like him. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's cute. It's cute. Um, yeah, it's cute. It's cute. I like Sebastian. And I hope he stays on for a while. I don't know. I kind of like him though. I kind of like him. I love how after the Sebastian and Clary like handshake, Jace is just like, okay, well, you know about demons? Like, <laughs> come on, get off my lover, you. Okay, I'm gonna shut up. Next, <laughs> there is a lot of Clizzy in this episode, which I love. The book fans obviously are like in love with, I'm assuming, I'm assuming. Um, which is so cute. I love it. I love the Clizzy moments in this. And I just, I'm like, no, I want Clizzy to be, please. Oh my gosh. The phone is so rude. Um, and there's this, the, the one point where they go see Raphael's sister, and she's like, oh, you two make a good couple, and they're like, no, we're not. And he's like, she's like, oh, well, he's a catch, or something like that. And I was just like, yeah, he is, and so is she, and they belong together, and they need to be together right now. <laughs> you know? I don't know. I really want them together. I, hopefully we won't wait long. I'm hoping. <laughs> um, there is a lot of Clary and Sebastian moments in this episode which I really really liked. There was one in the green the forest room? What is that called? With the trees? I don't know. Um, and that was kind of cute. There was one point where uh, Clary's trying to make her rune work on the door and he's like traumatised. He's like, your mum's never coming back, your father never loved you, you have no family, your brother isn't your brother, and blah blah. He was being brutal. And then Alec is like, no, stop, that's enough. I'm like, oh, Alec's being a protective older brother kind of figure to Clary. I made my heart. But then Clary like cries a little bit and she she does it and stuff and um you know 
was great. And then later on, Sebastian's like, I'm sorry. And she's like, no, I should be thanking you. I'm like, no, that should be a warning of who Sebastian really is. Well, I'm just saying, just saying. Just saying. Um, but, you know, I know. And Sebastian's like, um, how about dinner? And she's like, oh, I have a boyfriend. I'm like, oh, you do. <laughs> But I was like, oh, he wants to go out for dinner. And my mum, because my mum's read the books as well, and she was like, Olivia, that's so weird. You can't ship them. And I'm like, I know, but like, you know, <laughs> you know. No, it's not right. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> um, the Magnus and Valentine thing, you know, I, I don't hate it as much in this episode because it goes away. <laughs> and Alec realises that it's Magnus. Magnus, uh, Valentine was going to get executed but Magnus is in it's her body and Alec realises that it's Magnus at just like just the right moment and he rushes in he's like it's it's Magnus it's not Valentine Malik oh my heart it's just so cute just so cute <laughs> oh my god I keep hearing people um so yeah that was really cute and but there's this one scene where Magnus is like all sad and I hope he doesn't get in a mood with Alec because Alec didn't know. Alec didn't know, bless him. Okay, um, Jace finds out, okay last thing, Jace finds out he's a Herondale in this, which I think is a slightly too soon. I feel like they could have played out the whole identity name crisis with Jace on a little bit more. We didn't really go through like all the different names that he said he was really, but it the whole Jace finding out he's a Herondale really melted in my heart. I thought it was so cute. Um, Inquisitor Herondale says, you're just like your father. And then he is given the Herondale ring. And I have notes, by the way. That's why I'm looking down. And Jace holds it to his heart. And he, like, puts his head down and then it ends. And, oh, my gosh, it's so cute. Literally through this episode and the previous episode, I've just wanted to like jump into the screen and hug Jay's because he is melting my heart so hard during this, these episodes. It's just so cute and we're seeing the emotional side of Jay's and I think that's really cute. Okay, I'm going to end it. I feel like I've gone on for too long. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'm sorry, I keep hearing things. Thank you so much for watching, and I'm sorry next time, I promise I will draw a better rune, and I'm sorry it's late, and I'm sorry it's dark, and I'm really, really sorry, but if you have any opinions on this episode, please let me know. I'd love to hear them, and I will see you next time. Stay well, keep reading, keep shadow hunting. Oh, I didn't even show you. Look, I did this on purpose, but I, you couldn't see it in the frame, so shadow hunters, yay. Okay, <laughs> bye.